Welcome back. This is video three. We're going to continue the development of our main program. Recall last time we developed the menu and we implemented menu choice A, as you see here. Now we want to implement menu choice B. Now here's a question. Is there an LL function for show list? Let's take a look. SC status, is there an LL show list? And there is no co such component, but we remember that for uh, our previous assignment, you were given show list from the OP repository. So we can say status show list. And you see that, aha, there's a dot .cpp file, dot .o file. And when we did the test programs, we pound included showlist.cpp. So why don't we do the same thing in our main program? Oops. Pound include showlist. Okay. And now we can go ahead and implement case C. So what's involved? We just show list. Show list. And give it a list. You're able to give it um, real quickly. When I call show list, I can give it a label followed by the list. So let's make sure that we put a label in here. Um, we'll just call it list. The values are going to be um, displayed horizontally. The name of our list is list. So with this, we ought to be able to compile, run, and see what we have. So we're going to try again. Compile menu. Remember, we're using the LL insert as first component, so when we compile, we've got to include that. Yeah, it becomes a pain after a while. First.o. And now we run it. Let's display the list. We don't have a list. Oh, we do have a list. It's empty, so nothing should come out. So when we display the list, there's no data and there's the end of the list. So display list appears to work. Let's try to add something. Three values. One, two, and three. All right. Okay. Oh, heck. Is this put in here right? Last in, first out. What's the list? Okay, we got to see the list. I'm sorry. Display the list. And the list is in reverse order. So from this, it looks like we have two menu choices completed. So let's do a quickie. Let's pick one of the remaining functions that we're going to try to implement. And with that, we'll, we'll probably be done. Why don't we um, do the median? So we're going to try to implement the median. And let's just close this out and put our attention on the median. What does that mean? It means we need to find a median function to use. Let's see what we have here. SC status median. Notice that we have median based on arrays, median based on linked lists. We only care about the linked list ones. So let's just say linked list median. And how many choices do we have? Technically, you only have two choices because we need to be able to, to look at these run. So let's go ahead and check out both of these medians. How do we do that? We test each one. LL median is 18679. Let's try that one first. And oh shoot, what's going on? 
Well, right off the bat, when I run this thing, it just fails. So we certainly don't want to use that. Let's see if there's another one. There was 17412. Let's try that. 17412. And see what we get. Now, what is this? <clears throat> Five elements. The median ought to be the middle one. And the median is the middle one. Nothing. The median should be 555. Five, five, like I said. One element. The median ought to be itself. Six elements. The middle two. Take the average of that. Is what the median should be. That's correct. And finally, if I have three, it should really be the... If I have... An unsorted list like 5, 3, and 10, the median ought to come back and say minus 5, 5, 5, 5. So it kind of looks like if we're going to go with the median, this would be it. So what do we do now? <clears throat> What's the number again? 17412. And how do we adopt it? We just say adopt. What happens here? So it looks like we have llmedian.h, llmedian.o. These belong in the directory where we are programming, which is one level up. So we're just going to say copy llmedian up one level. So when we come over here, we can say llmedian, and we see that we have the files there. What do we have to do? We have to take the .h file and put it inside as a pound include. So let's do that. So we need to do this. Do that. So we can compile now. Oh, let's go ahead and use it. So what choice do we want to implement? R. So we're just going to do choice R, display the median, okay? So what's involved in displaying the median? Got to go back and look at the .h file for median. And what does it do? You pass it a list, it returns you a value. So it looks like I need a variable up here for median. Why don't we just call it, need one for min, we need one for max. We need one for size. Let's just do that and be done. So what do we have to do now? We have to say median is what you get when you call LL median. Pass it the list. And now we have to display the median. How do we display the median? Go back to the assignment and make sure it's clear. You got to display it like this. So this is the label we're going to use. So we're just going to say, again, when you display output, start it on a new line. Oh, it goes like this. Median equals followed by median and end it. Right. So with that, we're going to try to compile. Dash C, compile only. It compiled. Let's take a look at the .o files we have. Is it clear that we need the .o files for the LL things? You can actually compile it this way. Pay close attention. We can say we can say I want to include all of the LL.o files. So I don't really have to type each one of them. Is that clear? So whatever LL components you're using, you can compile, you can 
um, pull them all in at the same time. So with this we can go and run. We can say create a list. I want five things in it. Two, seven, nine, eleven, twenty-three. All right. And I can say show me what you have. I can now say display the median. And the median is it nine? Is it the middle one? Yes, indeed. All right. You follow? So I think with this we are on our way to getting the program put together, but we're going very carefully. The last thing to note is that you may think you have a good component when in fact when you put it in your program you may discover that it doesn't work. If that's the case then what you need to do is go back over here when you have the components and just like you adopt it you can go in and you can release a component. Release it. Now, this is like taking your product back to Walmart because it's defective. <clears throat> what happens when you release it, we actually make a record of the fact that there was a problem found with it. So, if I say enter rationale, <clears throat> put the description below here, okay? Try to say what's wrong with it, okay? Uh, The function crashed when called with an unsorted list. <clears throat> okay? So that's all you need to document. And when you do that, there's a record kept of how good the component was when people tried to use it. You understand that? So it's if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world because that's how things happen. Okay, with that, we're going to terminate, and that'll be the end of these videos. And I hope you get the feel for how this is quite doable as long as you're not in a hurry.